Tonight we're continuing our look at the history of some of our local media. iBerkshires.com lays claim to being not only the oldest news-only website in the Berkshires, but in the entire country. The Connecting Point producer Tony Dunn and videographer Mark Langevin went to see the iBerkshire staff to discover how their 21st century style of news gathering and delivery began and is flourishing right here in Western Massachusetts. Local news is incredibly important to the community. Back in the day, you would have the TV and maybe the radio and uh, a large community newspaper that would have national news and international news. But for most people, the only way you're going to find out what happened at the cemetery commission or the library trustees or the selectmen or the board of health is to read your local newspaper. And we, we kind of say that's what we are. We're the local newspaper without a newspaper. We believe we are the oldest online only news source in the nation. iBerkshire's got started uh, by Boxcar Media in 2000 because what was missing in the area was an online community resource. Originally started as uh, northadams.com. It was just going to be a site that would have press releases, some photos. And as it grew and became more popular, news started to get added on and then there were a few people writing. As it started growing, we were mostly concentrated in North County, which is North Adams, Williamstown, and Adams. But as we continued to grow the business, it just kind of morphed to the rest of the community. So we moved into Pittsfield, and now we're moving into South County. So it's kind of happened organically. We have a very small staff. Uh, a lot of us are wearing multiple hats. When I came here, I kind of had to pick up photography, as well as picked up much more of this sort of laying the story out and, and how it looks with the images. So yeah, you do multiple jobs. The great thing about iBerkshire's obviously being an internet-based business is that we're 24-7. Um, I've been very lucky that I've got employees that are incredibly passionate and incredibly driven to provide the best news possible. I was born and raised in uh, Lanesboro and um, I eventually I picked up covering that town which had been you know, neglected by media for years. I hear from people now that they know so much more about what's going on in their community. It seems to have triggered, you know, more community engagement that, you know, otherwise they may not have had. That's really a special thing. That's really our special sauce, is the group of people that we have working here and their commitment to this community. iBerkshires.com really came into its own uh, the day that Hurricane Irene hit. That, I think, really put us on the map. And it sort of was a line in the sand for the local newspapers who were preparing their stories for the next morning. Well, the day Irene hit, we were online telling people what roads were closed, where there were washouts, where the shelters were, uh, if the power was out. The um, local mobile home park got flooded, and almost every day I was going over there and talking to the residents and then talking to the townspeople and they were printing out copies for the people who didn't have internet access and they were they really depended on us. We had so much traffic it crashed our site. We had to move to Facebook which made us realize how important Facebook was to to news today and I think that was really the tipping point for us in understanding what we could do as a local news source. It's very satisfying to see what iBerkshire's has become. Um, it's something that we didn't envision when we started it. We are forcing newspapers to cons reconsider what their roles are in the community and, and to provide news in a faster, more efficient way. And who knows? I mean, the, my job wouldn't have existed 15 years ago when this started. Nobody would have thought of, I never thought I would be doing something like this. It didn't even occur to me when I started working in the newspapers. And who knows, 10 years down the line, what, what the shape of news will be or what the shape of iBerkshire's will be.